much. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Nick. Um, I'm married. I've um, got a, also got a two-year-old boy who's teething at home at the moment. Uh, so it's really good to be here. I do have some good news, though, for you. Uh, about five days ago, my wife rang me, and uh, I actually haven't even told my family this, so this is exciting. Um, after many months of trying, uh, we have a new addition, and we finally found the couch that fits the theme of our house. <laughs> yeah, we are over the moon. Uh, well, I haven't seen it yet, but... Um, <laughs> But when I do, it's really going to fit that Scandinavian theme that we both decided on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is so right. I thank you so much for your company this morning. He comes up with a whole heap of the funny gags for seven days. He's the four-time winner of Best Comedy MC for the New Zealand Comedy Guild. And he recently performed to a sold-out show at the Sydney Opera House. We have with us now multi-award winning writer, MC and stand-up comedian Nick Rado. Great to have you yeah. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I love what you do there because it's so dry, but you're so right about the choosing the Scandinavian furniture together. Because it's oh, always yeah. us. We, we're the ones that always do it. Yeah, we don't. Like, my important role is sometimes when you don't know uh, what you want in life, um, I play a very important role in that when it comes to choosing our furniture. So <laughs> like, I'll often say, Can I have this on the in our house? And she'll say, No. And it's just a great system we have. <laughs> it's on spot on. <laughs> and it's a perfect system. Yeah, exactly. Your publicist uh, sent us mm. some fun facts about you, so oh. we thought we oh, should yes, go with them. Okay. And there's more on the website too. There's a whole lot of genius stuff here. First sure. up, uh, Jerry Springer gave you the best advice you've ever had. Mm. So I was, uh, yes, I met Jerry Springer. Very lucky to meet him. He basically said to me that there is always a Jerry Springer show in all of us. So what he means by that, so on his show, um, he said it was like 80% sort of truthful, 20% written. So what they did was is they got the, the people in and it was his jo job to draw out the Jerry Springer show in them. Wow. So he'd be like, oh, if someone had an affair or whatever, he goes, well, what would escalate that over each ad break? And you go, if that person <laughs> had an affair, then bring that person in, we'll meet him, we'll let, let them chat and stuff like that. But his, his, his advice was, yeah, there's a Jerry Springer show in all of us. And so... Um, that makes us all on a level playing field. So, yeah. Just, I like that. That's yeah, good. Yeah. And good for a comedian, too, I guess. Great advice for a comedian. Absolutely, yeah. Just tell it all on stage. That's right. Okay, <laughs> well, speaking of big names, fun yeah. fact number two, you were the executive producer for Heart Radio Breakfast Show in London with yes. Emma Bunton. Mm. Baby Spice. Yeah. What is she like? She's fantastic. She's really great. The only thing is she's not the most intelligent of all the spices, I right. think I would say. <laughs> oh, uh, it's quite oh, hard. <laughs> ground, you're That's a tough now, competition. Buddy. You can probably oh. now know why I got fired. But uh, okay. no, um, so I met her, we went to the place, uh, this place called the Ivy for lunch, a very flash place in London, and all the breakfast crew got there, and we, this is the first time we met, we all ordered lunch, and we all ordered food, that was great, and then Emma Bunton uh, said to the waiter, and this is a true story, she said, um, you know the corn-fed chicken? Can I have that, but without the corn? <laughs> but this is the power of Emma Bunton. No one said anything. I bet. Everyone just went, sure, you can have that. And then the waiter had to go out to the kitchen and then come back from the kitchen and just go, certainly Miss Spice. Oh, I didn't say Miss Spice, Miss Bunton. <laughs> Uh, she was certainly Miss Bunton, you can, you can have that. And I was like, wow. Can I have the grass-fed beef but without the grass? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's so cute. Exactly. So uh, that was my... But, yeah, she was absolutely lovely to me. And mm. from a you know a, a wee boy from Porirua meeting you know, oh, Emma yeah. Bunton, it was just, yeah, she but was really great. But you got really fired. Great. I got fired. <laughs> uh, because I was concentrating more on my comedy and then their writing jokes for them. Their comedy. <laughs> ah, that yeah, was not. Yeah, that's what I say anyway. OK, another fun fact. You played on on the same piano as the artist formerly known as Prince mm. just weeks before he passed away. So tell us that, because that sounds quite intriguing. Yeah, first of all, I just want to say it wasn't me. Uh, that uh, was oh, right. the result of his death. Right. But um, <laughs> uh, I opened for Danny Boy uh, on his New Zealand tour. Oh, yeah. And we, we played at the ASB uh, Theatre, which is where Prince yeah, played yeah. two days before. Um, but they hadn't moved out the piano that obviously he warmed up on in his dressing room. Oh, wow. And so Danny was like, Nick, I can't just be in this room by myself with this fantastic piano. 
know, played by Prince. We have to just sort of sit and have a beer and 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 play it. It's to say that we've done that. And so me and Danny Boy can't play the piano, so we just played chopsticks oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ding, on, ding, ding. on one of the greatest pianists, you know, uh, musicians of our time. Good so. story. Good, Good story. Too. Um, you farted in front of Mariah Carey. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> one again, I was moments. one of my finest mm. moments. Again, uh, I, I was a massive fan of Mariah Carey growing up, and um, got to meet her at this London radio job. And it was all sort of hectic, lots of interviews going on, and um, for whatever reason, uh, I, I farted. But here's the thing: Mariah Carey didn't realise it was a fart. She she said, "Sorry, what was that?" <laughs> And so this was like, well, do I own what up? What do you do? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just had to come up with a question that sounded like my father. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, just, I just went, have you ever been to Prague? And, um, and she was like, no. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. I thought that you, you know, they said that on your sheet. So anyway, next question. Like yeah. So I kind of got away with it. But yeah, it was horrendous at the time. Yeah. You know, uh, that sounds like the dream gig, though. Here you are on the other side of the world, as you mm. said, you know, from mm. New Zealand. And, mm. and basically spending every day with these huge stars. Oh, yeah, huge. Because like, we were in Leicester Square, so all the big um, uh, movie premieres were going to be in Leicester Square. So they'd always pop up to... Um, um, Heart and they also your own capital and the big London radio stations. So we'd always get like, yeah, Hugh Jackman would come up and um, all these different people, and nice. we'd just be like, hi, hi, <laughs> yeah, pretend like we're not, you know, big massive fans of them, going, I'm sure we can fit you in for an interview. Oh, I okay, suppose you can pop on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you've now written though over 150 episodes for TV3's Seven Days. Uh, yeah. So you write the comedy. So basically, when we see Di mm. Henwood and, and them being funny, mm. not always their own jokes. <laughs> You're the one who's putting those in their mouths. Hey, listen, come on. Uh, they are very <laughs> funny people in their own rights. Um, so we, we have like a skeleton uh, thing. So I write all Jeremy Corbett's jokes oh, uh, he's down not funny. there. <laughs> 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 I feel like another firing is coming on. Uh, no, I, um, so uh, yeah, Jeremy Corbett stuff. Um, uh, we sort of, uh, you know, write because he needs to basically pull together this this amazing crazy show. Mm. Um, he needs to stop down that banter mm. with um, with a, with a really good one liner, classic yes. one -liner yeah. that summarizes the whole story, yeah. but also keeps the flow of the show going. And when, with regards to the other guys, yeah, they um, they're, they're fantastic. They do all their own. All their own stuff pretty much and a part of the um, buying into the show and being on the show is just to prepare you for, for yeah. the week but you don't really know what's going to happen to you so yeah well, no, and, and honestly it is one of the best shows in New Zealand yeah, history I reckon it's so good so good on you for being part of that well, speaking oh, cool. of shows we better talk about your show that oh, you're doing yeah. for the comedy fest tell us about it okay so it's called Nailed It um, and it's basically my critique of myself as a husband and um, and and uh, furniture chooser, furniture chooser mm. and and um, a father I should say the word sarcastic critique <laughs> at the end of it. I definitely am not nailing it. Um, so it's basically these funny stories. But the ba the basic gist of it is my my wife went away for the weekend, and I had to look after the kids. And I had to make a, a vegan Moana cake for a friend's birthday party. Wow. And this whole show is she about. She landed you in it. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> and she, this whole show is about um, this 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 thing that happened there, which is very very funny in hindsight. Ooh. But uh, at the time, it was yeah, it was it was it was terrible. But this whole show is about that. What oh. a great tease! Sounds mm. fantastic. Mm. And Brilliant. you can see more if you want to find out about that. Hey Nick, thank you so much. Mm, no worries. Uh, Nick, that was a great story. That farting one, fantastic. <laughs> and Nick Rado hosts the best comedy show on earth at Auckland Sky City Theatre this Sunday, 6th of May. And he then performs his solo show, Nailed It, in both Auckland and Wellington. You can check out the Comedy Fest website for ticket details. Yes, have you been to Prague?